Hi everyone, so as you know I got a haul in yesterday from Spellbinders and I was like flipping out over this. I'm super excited to have it and I want to try it out today. So this will be today's Freeform Friday. Um, I'll have links in the description box which are affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. Um, you know, it depends on when you're watching this. Spellbinders is having a 25 off of $100 cart and all you have to do is add in $100 or more of whatever it is that you want to purchase there if you want to use uh, take advantage of that. Um, discount and the $25 will come off automatically um, in the cart. So yeah, you'll see it at the checkout there. Um, I have been looking at this for a long time, so I was really happy to get it. I, it's probably several years old. It's part of the FSJ or Fun Stampers Journey line that you guys had told me about as far as Spellbinders picking up that company. I guess it was more of like a direct marketing kind of thing, like Close to My Heart or whatever. I'm stamping up, I suppose. Um, but Spellbinders took them in. So um, this is one of the products they had. So it says my exclusively for FSJ by Gel Press. Um, so, you know, I was just thinking about how I want to use it because if you're not familiar with Gel Press, it is messy. It's fun. It's not for everyone because I know some of my girls do not want to get messy. We like die cuts, nice and clean. Um, but it's a fun thing to do. So I was really looking forward to trying this out. But, so I want to touch this thing so I'm not really sure. Let's open it up. It does give you some info on the back. I do have a bigger brayer now, actually. Where is it? Oh, right here. Um, I know I always have the small one from Ranger, which is fine. I have it sitting here, too. Where is it? Uh, here. She's a messy little gal. I never really clean off because I don't care. The texture that's on here doesn't bother me. It's washable. I can wash it off. I mean, I can pick it off if I wanted to, but I don't really care. It's a brayer, so I kind of like that. Um, I, had, I bought this one. I think I got it on HSN. But like I said, whatever links, I'll have them there for you guys. Um, this is a big boy, so I think I'll use this one today. And I know this is going to get messy and probably be impossible to clean up later, you know, because, let I me mean, look at it. But that's fine. So let me put that to the side for now, because I'll probably use that, and they're actually using something really big like that here. Now, they're just showing you a little simple, to do a little background, but we're going to do something more than that, because, you know, it's just fun. It just says to apply it, you know, do whatever it is. Place it on cardstock, printed paper, color splash sheets, whatever those things are, I'm sure that they had. Um... Other media on the gel impressions plate and rub lightly to transfer and lift off. I know some people like to use deli paper, which I actually have. I just don't know where it is because there was a time where I was like, oh, I'll make my fancy sandwiches and wrap them in this beautiful paper, you know. Um, so that's like that brown or like white kind of tissuey paper, but it's a little bit waxy, a little different feel. Um, it just depends. So I wanted to see this because if you can look at it, it has a big block base and then the little hearts aren't super, I mean, the hearts are above that, right? They're raised up, so obviously you get that print. And I was thinking, do I want to just do hearts on the paper? I probably want to do a background, then the hearts. And I do have the bigger gel press. Ooh, where did I put it? Uh, it's behind me somewhere here on these racks. And then the thing is, it's in a plastic case and it's very thin, so I always put it away like this and then I never know where it is until I really look for it. But it's a lot bigger than this, right? The main gel press I have from... Um, uh, FSJ, I suppose it's still from them, even though it's on Spellbinder's site. But what I was thinking is maybe we can use the back side of this, the flat side, and then pop it over and use the heart side. Because on, even on the gel press, you can use both sides. It doesn't matter. A lot of people try to keep to one side just to keep it less messy and wash it off. And my gel press actually looks pretty good, even though I've used it a few times. It has a little, little red tinge to it, but not really. It's pretty clear. So we're going to try this out. And then I think I'm going to put under this my... <laughs> um, mat that I've been using over and over, the Spellbinders mat here. Now, this is paper, so it probably has some little debris that might come up onto here. Um, I don't really care. I mean, that's kind of, this thing is going to get grungy. and So I'm going to keep this. I always keep that. I always keep the, ca the case because we're going to put it back in the case when we're done. Um, what I'm trying to say, if you want to put something else down, maybe like a a craft mat, which might be dirty already, or whatever. I, I don't really care. I'm just going to turn this over. I guess we could leave it on this even, right? But I'm just going to let it touch the paper. I don't mind. What I'm going to do is turn it over. So I'm on this side that's flat. This feels so cool. So I'm on this flat side. <laughs> Look how fun. I love it. Um, and I'm going to junk out this side with a gel press, you know, like we normally would. I'm going to grab some um, printer paper. So that's what I like to use. Um, not always. I mean, you can use, like I said, cardstock. Oh, remember when we did that the design? I think we did it on um, the canvas sheets from uh, Arteza, which were really cool. I still have my little home decor item that I made for you guys that one time. 
hanging right here. I see little Miranda's face all the time. It's really cute. So um, again, you're making these backgrounds. You can tear them. You can put them on cards. You can put them on your mixed media projects. You can put them on home decor projects. You can put them in your scrapbook. We're just making like fun backgrounds that you can then decide what you want to do with it. So like today, we'll probably just gonna make the background and maybe next week or, or during the week, maybe I'll make a card or use it for a background somehow. But today we're just doing this because I know this is going to take me a minute um, to kind of mess around and see what I want to do. So I'm going to grab some acrylic paint because that's what I like to use. You can use inks, you can use whatever you want to put on here, honestly. Um, I'm sure sparkle inks would work. Um, you can just mess with them however you like. Ooh, that'd be fun too. Anyway, um, but that is very shimmery and glittery and that shimmer will be harder to get off of here. So that's why I kind of stay away from things like that, but you can do it, it's no big deal. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh gosh, you guys, I haven't done this in a long time. I'm a little nervous. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> So, um, again, I have this paper thing, so I can kind of clean this off on here if I wanted. I cut my paper down to seven inches square, because that's how big this is. Because um, when I go to do the hearts, let's say I want to do a double print of it or something, and I want it to still be lined up, um, it'll be easier to judge since my paper is exactly the same size. So it's not going to be exact, but it'll be fun, I hope. So I just picked out some colors of acrylic paint. Any acrylic paint will do, but I have have these Arteza colors from a long time ago that I had reviewed long ago. So I'm gonna use this scarlet red. So when you're playing with something like this, if you have dark colors that you wanna use, you kinda of wanna use those first because you're gonna do it, you're gonna lift off your print, and then the next color may be um, a light color, and that'll show up. If you start with light colors and you pull your print, and then you go to dark colors, when you put this on top of here, the dark color is definitely gonna dominate your lighter colors, right? Um, so just be careful with that. You don't need a ton of paint either. So I'm just putting I mean, those are, that might even be too much. Small little dab there. I'm going to use some white. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, again, that's the fun of it. You're just going to do some stuff. You're going to add, ooh, that's a lot of white. I'm not going to put any more. You can add a lot of texture with um, stamps, with things you have lying around. I think I had a toilet paper roll that I was using for a minute. That one's really cool because it makes like circles. Ugh, I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to find some stuff. Uh, a pen, a pen cap. I mean, there's like lots of ways that you can add fun to this texture. Oh, what's going on here? Are we plugged up? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Let me clear this out. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> I'm trying to clear out that. I just want the soft paint. I don't want that. Okay. So... Again, I haven't used this in years. Not years. Well, maybe a year. No, less than a year. Just a while. Just, you know, that did clog up a little bit there. And I left it over here. I don't know if you can see that. Obviously, you can see that. I can see now that you can see that. Sorry, I had a little sneeze. Um, There's a lot of white right here. I should be using other implements here. <laughs> I was going to use my bone folder again. I'll take some off of there with that. Just kind of a lot. And then I'll add some more color if I need it. So I'm just going to take my brayer and do whatever you like. I'm just going <laughs> to roll this out, roll it out, roll it out. In different directions. Very a lot of red here. I would like to get a little more gold in that. Okay. So that's a good first pass. Look at that. Pretty cool. Again, it has the heart shapes underneath. So I can see that this area kind of tipped down. But I just wanted to see if we could do something with it. Um... I wish I had that paper roll. What I'm going to do is this little cap. Um, just come in here and make some texture. You see I'm kind of taking away some of the color. And maybe I should have a paper towel here to help me out with this. So I'm just making some little stuff. You don't have to work super fast or anything like that. It's It'll wait for you to a certain extent, right? Because it depends on how thin you used it. I just wiped that clean. And that's what I'm saying. What do we else do we have? Look, I have this lid from that Barely Arts glue, and maybe I'll use this side just to make some extra little stuff. All right. Now, you can use this to help you brayer over the back of your paper, which I don't really do. I normally just press it with my hands. Because look, this is covered with ink or with paint, but some people just kind of get that paint off and then use it to brayer. Um, you know, do whatever you like. I don't know. I might still do, I might use the brayer, but we'll see. So you can come in here and just go over the back and make sure that's really pressed down. Again, this is very artsy. If it doesn't all come up, big deal. You know, do it again. 
because we're going to keep layering colors. I think the next one I'm going to put a lot more gold. And then maybe that darker red instead of this bright red. Oh, look at this. You guys. Super cool. And in the meantime, if there's anything else you left and you like that, take another piece of paper, take it up. But this pretty much came up, so that's okay. So I'm going to let this... Put this to the side for just a, ooh, a second. Okay, that was not <laughs> the way it curled. It went and curled up on me. Okay. That's a little bit wet still. What I want to do is more gold. Not this crunchy gold, but the gold gold. And then, like I said, maybe some of the deeper red that I had there. That red is very bright. Oh. And more gold. And I haven't done this in such a long time that I don't remember. Are we supposed to wait for the other parts of it to dry? The other paper that I just used? Because I want to keep going on that same paper. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't remember. Okay. So this one is a little bit deeper red than that first base red, but um, that's okay for me. That first one was kind of... Actually, you know what? You know what I'll do? I'll take this over here. I'm not going to put any texture. I'll take it up on this paper. And then whatever I have left on my brayer, I'll use again. Like, now, we're get, now we're getting messy. <laughs> now we are definitely getting messy. Ooh, yeah. So this will be a background for a different project. So I'll put this to the side for now. And I'm add a little more white. And I'm gonna brayer again. And you know what? What am I doing? <laughs> the lid kept screw like scrolling around and around. Okay. I might take that up on another paper still. Just really soft. So whatever's left. And then you just keep building. So I'm going to put this to the side. Oopsie. And you know how I'll do? I'll bring this guy back. It's starting to dry already. And I'll take just a little bit of this. Like I'll push it here. And just add a little something different there. Oh, my fingers are getting on that. And maybe a little more of it over here. And now I'm out of paper. I only brought three pieces of paper with me. So that gives a little bit different in the background. Hope you can see that. That red is still too bright. It's not really what I was looking for. What I'm gonna do is take a whole other sheet of paper and pick this up and then just do some white or something like that. I'll be right back. I picked all that up over here like a Picasso. Just and bury it on the back just to get as much as I can. And Maybe just a little white. Oh yeah. I have this yellow ochre. I don't know. And a little gold. I think on the other side I'm gonna do like maybe black hearts. I don't know. Something that'll pop. Uh, I left this sticking on the paper, as you can see, it wanted to bring the paper with it, so just be careful. You know, if it's too much, like, I want to wipe some of that off. Yeah, I think that's good like that. All right, and let's do some other shapes. What else do I have? I can... Oh, you know what? You can use um, stamps. I don't know that I want to do that. Ooh, I don't want to mess this up. How about a stencil? Okay, let me... <laughs> what I'm going to do is... Mm -hmm -hmm. Ugh, this is so tough. Because a stencil definitely has an area. What you can do is go in there. And then you can add a different color, or you can take color away, which is what I was thinking about doing. Hold on, let me grab a paper towel. I 
Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use paper towels. I'm just going to use a scrap piece of paper that I have here. And we can use that to help check this out. Ooh, now that's on there. You can use that for something if you like. I could have used one of the prints that I already did to take some of that up. And then when I remove this, that should have like a little flower ghost thing there. Okay. Now let's bring this guy back. And I'll put him here. This is the original one I was kind of working on. Pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot going on here. You can kind of see the flower there. It's really more for texture. Haven't done that in a while. Okay, and that's kind of what I wanted. That red was really bright. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for just a second. I am gonna wash this off <laughs> and we're gonna use the uh, heart side next, okay? So I'm just gonna rinse this underwater. Okay, so I just rinsed that under running water. Probably could've done a little better job, but not bad. I can see this little red here still. But again, it's acrylic paint you wanna wash off pretty quickly. I did roll this underwater too, and this actually comes apart so you can wash it really well. Um, you can see it's already stained. I probably could scrub it, but I didn't wanna keep messing with it. So there's that. Um, let's see here. Okay. I'm trying to think what I want to do. I didn't even get the black paint. So, do I want to go with black? Black is very harsh. <laughs> and also for this one, we're going to have to kind of brayer it from somewhere else. Um, so I have this, oh, yeah. I have this thing It came from <laughs> the letterpress kit from a long time ago that I've had for years. Um, that was a, uh. Lifestyle Crafts, I guess, or whoever makes that letterpress. Remember, I busted it out not too long ago, and it was a complete pain. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is basically put my paint on that. But that's what that's for. But you can put it on an acrylic block or whatever, but you see how it's kind of messy already. Um, let me get the black paint. Of course, I have to look at each and every bottle <laughs> before I find the black one. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because if I squirt it on there, it's gonna get all in these cracks and crevices because it has those raised areas, right? So I'm gonna brayer, and to be honest, brayer might be too big. Or maybe I'm just used to using the Ranger one, that little guy. Maybe that's what it is. But, okay. I'm not gonna put too, too much. Hopefully I can get it on here. So I'm getting it on my brayer in the center area somewhere where I can just kind of go over my hearts it's not the biggest deal you know I just want a little bit anyway so you can see the bird is not full it's picking it up and depositing it other places and that's all I want so I'm gonna leave them just like that bring back our first piece look at the gold oh I love it okay there's a lot going on here just some different things we could do. Okay, I'm gonna put this down on here. Again, I'm gonna try and line it up. I don't care if it's not perfect the next time. I don't wanna use that brayer that's all black ink. I'm just gonna go over it with this little guy. Ooh, pretty good. Look at that. You know, that's actually kinda cool just like that. I don't really know what I want to do otherwise. Maybe I'll do some more gold? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let me go wash these things off and then we'll continue on here. Yeah, I just really kind of like the way it is, but you know, we always want to take it further. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll use this deep, deep red. Let's try that, the deep red. And some white. Oopsie, I have another. All these pieces here, you can definitely keep working on. Uh, maybe I will off camera, because otherwise I'm just gonna have these half done. You know, I mean, they're good for backgrounds, but you wanna keep going, so. Um, pieces, I'll use some of this white. And, oh, where's my roller? Here it is. Wash that off again. You saw it was all covered in black paint, so not bad. It's just bigger than I'm used to, so this is a good thing to try out. Okay, I have the red and the white paint. This reminds me of one stroke painting we used to do back in the day, huh? Okay. Ooh, I think that's what I'll do. Um, ah, that's pretty cool. I'm telling you, just the more you do, it just looks cooler and cooler and it'll be fine. Okay, and for this one, I definitely want to texture it. I don't know with what. Again, you can use stamps. Maybe I'll just come through and 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm just adding some texture to these. Because basically, whatever we take away there, it's going to show up. The black is going to show up from behind it. So I'm just putting some lines here. I don't know. Not all of them, but some. It's already getting dry. I can feel that. Okay, again, I don't, I'm not super lining this up because I don't even know where to line it up at. Maybe I can eyeball that. I think trying to line it up is a bad idea. So I'm just going to put it back down and just go across the back of it like I did earlier. And whatever it picks up is great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Look how it just picks up all the color. So cool. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that is so much better than what I had. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? I tell you, I didn't care if it really lined up. And in fact, because it was black, I thought it might be cool if it was a little offset. And that's exactly what happened there. So if it was perfectly lined up, great. You know, with that little... Uh, I couldn't have planned that any better. And I love the way it's like red and the white and the mixture. So cool. All right, guys. Well, that's all I had today. Um, like I said, I'll keep playing with these other ones. Actually, now that I have the heart side up, I'll just play with the heart side and keep going. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have the links there in the description box if you're interested in any of these items. Let me know if you're still playing with your gel press, what you think of it. I mean, that this I, I couldn't have done on my own. Like, this looks really cool. All right, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now. these other pieces and I just realized I am wearing white sleeves <laughs> oh my gosh it was so hard to keep that out of the way but so cool I just kept going mixing colors going over you know some other one I mean look at this uh and those circles what was cool about that what was left over there is I got the leftover on here after I just put white paint down and so you can see those same dots the same circles are from this one I just added some hearts here and there um got a little white paint there I don't know how that happened but I think it just when I squeezed it on there it Again, went into the little crevice there. But that's okay. All right. Anyway, have fun. I'll see you guys the next one. Bye oh, now. This is going to go on forever. And as I'm cleaning this up, I just want to show you how really nice and thick these Spellbinders papers are. Um, it didn't even go through the back. It just wrinkled up a little bit. I guess I could probably just leave it there and use it again. But I think it's time. All right. So I'm going to take this off and toss it out. And next time I use this, I'll have this clean surface.